Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to draw a very simple uh, set of exonometric drawings, really just two. Um, I'm going to draw a wireframe box uh, both in uh, 45 degree and 30 60 degree uh, exonometric projection. Um, and I'm just going to simply show you how that's done and talk a little bit about line weights. Um, this should be relatively quick. I'm going to use a 10 uh, by 10 centimeter box, um, otherwise a 1 meter by 1 meter box in 1 to 100 scale. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start to lay down some construction lines. I'm going to start with the 45 degree box. And I'm just going to start laying down some construction lines for the box. I've got my two 45 degree angles and now I'm simply going to measure 10 centimeters from this intersection here in both directions. I really only have to mark this on one side. So I make that mark right there. Because the system will actually help me close that as long as I'm intersecting with that, right? I don't have to mark this side. I will have to mark one of the other sides. So construction line here. Okay, I'm going to measure 10 centimeters there. There you go. Uh, it may be hard for you to read um, my construction lines with the filter that I use. Uh, these lights are bright, so I will illuminate this and clarify it later. Uh, with pen, and I bought three new pens so that I have a set of line weights. Okay, next thing I'm going to do once I have my basic square, and you can see it's just a, a 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter square, 45 degree angle um, to the page, really, or to the parallel bar. Um, but if you turn your, your head and look at it sideways at 45 degrees, you'll see it's just a 90 degree square. I haven't distorted it at all, it's the same as it was before, it's just a square essentially. Um, that's been rotated 45 degrees, okay? That's all it is. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, my verticals, okay? And I'm going to draw some construction lines in vertical right from those intersections. So here's one reason why we don't always prefer exonometric drawings and it's because or 45 degree exonometric drawings and it's because you can see that that axis here uh, will overlap and so the 3060 will actually make those if it's a regular um, square will make those uh, not overlap and so we can see things that are behind we'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute okay so I have my I have my verticals drawn now and all I have to do is measure up from any corner really uh, that 10 centimeters since it is a 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter cube that we're going to make now. Okay, and it's 45 so all the angles are the same. So now all I'm going to do is start it here as long as I've got my T square in place. I'll just draw construction lines. Okay, and this, I shouldn't have to measure anymore. It should just wrap around and connect for me based on the intersecting matrix here that I've got. Okay. Now, I've got my T squared, I'm working fast, so I'm not being precise, but you should be as precise as possible um, and make sure that those intersections all connect. So I'm just going to clarify this one uh, with line weights. We're going to talk about which line weights um, should be used where now. 
Technically, it's a 2D drawing, but if we want to read this three-dimensionally, it needs line weights to show depth. So this front corner, theoretically, is the closest to me. So I'm actually going to draw that with the heaviest line weight. Make sure you're using your inking edge, if you're using ink, so you don't smear the ink. And you should be using your parallel bar. I'm not, uh, just for, for speed, but you should be for your parallel bar or your uh, T-square. Okay, so we'll let that dry for a minute. Now all of these other lines that are on these three surfaces that are uh, in front will be um, outlined with a medium line weight. And then these lines that are behind that are these back three edges, we will draw with light line weights. Now once this becomes more complex, you might need additional line weights, but we'll talk about that later. Okay, so I'm just gonna Draw these in with a medium line. And again, you should be precise. All your corners should end at corners. There should be no overlapping like I'm going to get. And everything should be drawn with a parallel bar or is a T-square. And you can see this thing kind of start to pop out, start to read as a three-dimensional object. And obviously, your line weights are going to help with that. So again, heavy line here, medium line outlining these three surfaces. These pens aren't going to be great, especially on this trace paper, but you will use a heavy HB line here, HB medium lines here, and then for the back, an HB light line. And you'll use those 2H and 4H lines once this becomes more complex, and we'll talk about that in another tutorial. Okay, so these light lines here, which you may not read in the back, these lines should be much lighter. than the lines I've drawn on the other edges because they are behind. And I'm not sure that these pens are going to read that way, but they should. All right, and that is a 45 degree hexonometric of a simple box. Next, we will show you the same thing in 3060. Okay, I'm going to work a little bit faster. And I'm not necessarily going to be as precise and measure everything. Okay. So we'll just start with pen. I have my 60 run in this direction, which means my 30 will run in the other direction. Okay, so. Let that dry for a second. All right, I got a little smudge right there, but you see how that works. Draw my verticals, and I'm really just trying to make this thing square. I did a pretty good job just by eyeballing that. I'm listening to the sound of my pen. And 
thicken up the overall length. Might not do so well on these verticals. Obviously, you know, you working from home and me working at my dining room table, not the best setup, but hopefully you'll get the point. And I'll put an overlay on this and I'll clarify it with line weights. And these are technically construction lines, but I want to stay as close to the box as possible at this point for clarity. I'm sorry about the smudging. I'm working very fast. And obviously, with my T-square, I got a little bit off right there, but I will clarify this with an overlay. That is your 3060. Now you can see that the 4545 seem to be a lot less distorted in terms of the shapes, okay? And you can see that the 3060, these are not 90 degree corners now. The, the plan is, but it's not, um, it's not when we move up into these faces here, the top and the bottom um, are just a square at 90 degrees and these sides have some distortion. Uh, the 45 doesn't have as much distortion but you can see it's still distorted. Now let me get my, let me get my T-square working correctly and let's see if we can clarify this. So technically I'll use my do my light lines first. Okay. Those should be my light lines. I'm going to do my medium lines next. Should be a little bit heavier. And those light lines behind. Looks a little better. And to the intersection. I'm rushing. I'm using a T square at my dining room table. You're gonna have to cut me a little bit of slack. You should have precise corners things that meet. You don't ever want to have a condition like that. And you see I'm starting to resolve that as I work my way around, trying to be a little bit more careful. Okay. I've got four more medium lines to make. Okay. Let's see where we got off right there. Just gonna connect the 
these two corners. Okay. connect these freehand. All right, now I've got this one line left and it's a heavy line. You can kind of see the three-dimensional quality of it now. I'm just going to close that now. There's not a lot of difference in those line weights. So just for clarity's sake, this should be a heavy line here. All right. These should be a medium line so that it pops out from what's behind. Start to see those two surfaces above. All right, and now we can see those lines behind. So if you get a good uh, mix of line weights, a nice variation, you'll get a nice three-dimensional quality, and that is a 3060 hydronometric drawn of a simple 10 centimeter cube.